Hey guys, it's Yvette and I am back with clue number three for the Cotton Cuts Name of the Rose Puzzle Mystery Quilt. And this particular quilt is a large bewitched. So if you are working on the large quilt, this is the video for you. And um, I definitely love seeing all the other colorways. So please keep posting all your pictures because they're great. So what I have done so far is prepped all my fabric and I have um, counted to make sure that I have all of my pieces and I do. So we are ready to get started. Um, what you should have in front of you is your fabric, of course, your pattern and your fabric cheat sheet. Um, okay, so let's get started. Okay, so like I said, this is clue number three, and we are working on, so we are on section three. For number one and number two, we are going to have the large B triangle, and we are going to have the A small triangles on either side, and we are going to make flying geese, and we're going to do eight of those, okay? So let me scooch some of the fabric over. And let's see. We have one. This is just to make sure that I still remember how to count. Two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then the way that we make the flying geese is we are going to sew down one side, do our pressing, and then sew down the other side. So for this first round, we are going to attach a letter A small fabric to the top left of each one of those. Okay. All right, so we are going to take each one and we're gonna fold it down right sides together. And depending on um, the way that you do this, we are just going to be sewing a quarter inch seam allowance right down this line here on each one of them. Uh, if you mark your fabric, you wanna go ahead and do that before you head over to the sewing machine. But if you are using a quarter inch foot, then you're ready to head over now and sew your seam allowance. Okay, so I have sewn down the left side of all my triangles, or I should say half of the flying geese. And so now we are going, okay, now we're going to take another small white triangle, or this is the fabric A, and we're going to flip it right sides together and sew this quarter inch seam allowance on all eight of the pieces.
Okay, so I'm back and I have completed step number two where we have um, these flying geese and there are eight of them in total. And now we're gonna move on to numbers three and four where we're making more flying geese. We're going to take our large C triangle, which is this one, and we're going to take our small B triangles, which are these, and we're going to make eight flying geese, just like we did with those, and just like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is, and we'll do this eight times, I'm just gonna show you on one, we're going to sew down the left side of the flying geese first. So we're gonna put them right sides together and we will sew this quarter inch seam right here and then I will come back and we'll add this the right side. Okay, so I have sewn all of the left side of the flying geese, and now we are ready to add the pieces on the right side. And so we'll take one of these pieces, uh, and one of the ones we just sewed, we are going to flip this over, right sides together, and then we are going to, again, sew a quarter inch seam right down that, ang that angle right here. Okay guys, so I have finished all of these flying geese and now we have eight of each one of these. And the next step is to add these rectangles um, to the middle, right? So this will eventually be sewed to the top of these two, but the first step they want us to do is attach these. Um, so basically what this entails is we will take one of the flying geese we will take one of the rectangles and then we'll fold them right sides together and sew a quarter inch seam allowance right here.
Okay, guys, so here is number five completed. We have our flying geese with a rectangle on top. And now we are going to add the other flying geese to the top of this, um, of this one. So if I take one of each, oops, and we are going to be um, placing them together like that. So we're gonna take the top one and flip it right sides together with the set underneath. And we are going to sew a quarter inch seam line right here. Okay, so we have finished section three. These are the eight pieces that we have um, that we are going to label number three. So let me I'm gonna write number three on this one. Take my paper scissors. I will attach that with a wonder clip. And then I also want to put it away in my project box for next time. So I'm going to keep my instructions, my pieces, and my fabric swatch cheat sheet. Okay, so I hope you guys had a good time putting together clue three. Um, and again, this is for the Bewitched Large, and I will see you guys next month.